Hello, welcome to Blue Hour Designer Studios. Here is the end result that you won't get to see because I ran out of room on my camera, but I will show you the process. This is my cheese board and it's the first time I was doing a cheese board so it was all practice, trial and error. So the colours I'm mixing up is like a brass, uh, white, uh, a little bit of gold, I didn't have much of it, and a little bit of green. So I'm laying it all into the cup. So I'm going to do a dirty pour and a bit of cell activation. And here we go. As you can see, you can see all the cells that popped out, which is absolutely beautiful. Love the cells. I'm just doing the handles on the cheese knives whilst I had some left over. And as I started moving it, it started to fill in my uh, holes in the utensils. And I should have learnt to tape over them, not in them. Now I didn't like the colour so much because it was a lot more white than anything else. So I decided to add more of the brass and the other colours just to see if I can get that, more of that darker colour. I didn't quite like the <clears throat> the pink and the white because it started to it's, every time I moved it it started to muddle together and it kind of reminded me of like the 70s theme look I suppose you would say so I added a bit more green to see if I can pop some other colors in there to make a difference you learn from your mistakes is where I our own worst critics and I was like Ugh, don't like this don't like that and oh my god I was just having nothing but issues and I'm like I just want some colors that will come out really well so I added some blues and greens and I thought oh yeah that's okay that's not too bad <clears throat> but then I discovered that there was more green and it started muddling up again I typically don't use these colours for really much anything because I'm not a fan of the green colour spectrum. But I thought I'd give something different a go because I had plenty of leftover paint that I needed to use. I added cell activation on top of it to see if it'll make any difference but then I decided well it's not working too well either. <laughs> so I'm actually losing and not winning here. This was about an hour and a half of trial and error. <laughs> but you got to remember this is my first time attempting a cheese board of all things. So I wiped it all off and thought well okay time to start again. I wasn't happy at all with any of those colours. So I tried something a little different. I put more blue, I think I put more blues and purples and that sort of colours into it. Here I'm filling up my holes with, uh, with, with foil because I got frustrated that kept, all the cells kept going inside the holes and that's not what I was wanting. I was a little bit happy with this so I used my hairdryer to try and push away the green and hopefully the purples and blues will pop up but to no avail it was not successful and as you can see I'm redoing the knife handles because obviously it's a different color now as soon as I lifted up the foil I found a heap of purple and that was like very sad because that's not where I wanted my purple <laughs> You know, some tutorials show the the end result of how perfect everything is, but they don't show you the mistakes along the way. So this is completely one of those fatal mistakes that I knew it wasn't going to succeed too well. So here I'm swiping it because there was a lot of thick paint on the blue tape. And I actually found that there was like a lot of cells that came up 
but it's not exactly what colours I wanted. <laughs> so again, I was losing. I was like, ah. It's all practice, people. Keep practicing. Keep trying different colours. Trying new things, because you know, artist tries new things. So shortly I'm about to run out of video because I stopped recording but I will show you my semi end result of my cheese board. Obviously it's curing still. Anyway thank you for watching and check out the end result of my purple and green <laughs> with lacing. Let me know if you've got any questions and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. Bye.